Hello you fantastic people, welcome back to Borderlands 3. In this video we're going to go over one of the new best weapons in the entire game, like capable of taking on any bosses, any mobbing situations, and do it very very well. And believe it or not, it's an Atlas pistol. I have very rarely, if at all, use Atlas weapons in the entire game. I'm pretty sure the only one I actually have and enjoyed is the OBQ. The rest are kind of eh in this game, unfortunately. Uh, but this recent buff to the multi-tap pistol is insane. This thing shreds everything. Maliwan takedowns, Guardian takedowns, like... There's good weapons in Maliwan, and then you take it to the Guardian, it's kind of like, eh, like, it works, but it's not great. No, it does everything. Guardian takedown, bosses, mobbing, room clearing, all of it. It's insane. So, I'm going to start showing some clips on screen. I'm not going to go over a full build uh, guide for you guys for this one. If you guys would like a build guide for the clips you're seeing on screen, I have fully covered it in my Omega Flak build. I'll leave it linked down below at the end of the video, or just check it out on the channel. It was posted a couple weeks back, but I don't want to repeat the same info in this video for you guys. But... Like usual, we'll go over the weapon itself, the anointments you guys want. I'll show you guys the gear, just not like the skill tree or anything like that. But yeah, as you guys can probably tell, this thing is insane. Like, it just melts everything. It's a ton of fun to use, particularly very different to my usual playstyle. Again, never really use Atlas weapons. It has a different firing mode, like all Atlas weapons. You have a tracker grenade in this one. It's a bit of a lob. This one, main con like my main complaint about the gun, the grenade takes a while to explode. So many times the enemies have already ran away. Or if it wasn't a very crowded area, only get one or two, rather than the max you can pin is five at a time. Uh, but if you do get a well-placed grenade, you can just hold the trigger and it'll track them all very, very well and just annihilate them. Uh, very rarely, it does also have this extra ability, but very rarely do you get to use it. If there's still anybody alive after you've emptied the mag and you've tracked those five enemies, if there's still like one left and you've just ran out of bullets or something like that, the reload actually procs a cryo rocket to go home in on whatever's left to be tracked and will annihilate them. So there's like that foolproof. You're never going to be sat there with enemies tracked and you've run out of bullets and you're watching them like to shoot you because that cryo rocket is going to make sure if the bullets didn't do the job, the rocket's going to finish them off, which is really, really cool. Uh, and to be honest, I very rarely bother using the grenade. I do fun if there's a bunch of enemies around. I'm like, oh, this is a good spot. I'll use it. But the gun by itself, without the tracking ability, if you don't like using trackers and Atlas weapons, it's very pinpoint, very, very accurate. The fire rate's insane, particularly if you pair it with a Revolter Shield, which honestly I'm rocking with most weapons at the moment because it's just so much fun. It just is really quick. It'll obliterate everybody. The enemies uh, explode as well on death, so if there's quite a few packed up together, it's quite good at clearing those. Not using radiation, I'm not using URAD, but if you do pair it with that, you could make that even better if you want. I'm just absolutely blitzing everything. I'm running through trials really quickly. I was streaming it last night, and you have to get trials done in sub five minutes to get as many legendaries as you want. And this pistol is one of the few ones that can get it done every single time without any real, you know, sweating at all. So if you guys want to pick this one up for yourselves, is a dedicated drop from Mayhem 6 and above from Katagawa Ball. You can find that one in Promethea, Skywell 47, just run all the way to the end of the map and you'll find the boss fight there. Pretty simple fight and he doesn't have too many dedicated, so it's actually getting pretty frequently from my experience at least. Uh, and it's actually pretty easy to farm as well. It's only non-elemental for Atlas pistols and it doesn't have a huge damage variance. Usually there's like a pretty much double damage uh, variants in a lot of weapons in this game at Mayhem 10. But this one, I've only seen 48k to 51k damage, so not a huge variance. Honestly, if you get any of them, they'll probably just slap as much as each other. Secondly, I kind of wanted to add this to this video. I was originally just going to make it about the multi-tap pistol being one of my new favorite weapons, but my Twitch chat highly recommended the Replay Atlas pistol, which just came out, DLC 6, drops from Hermie or the Seer, and I just hadn't given it really that much of a try. I tried it out against, I'm pretty sure, Grave Ward, and it just did nothing, so I was just like, eh, another Atlas pistol I don't care about, threw it to the side and ignored it. Uh, turns out I was sleeping on it and didn't understand how it works. It is a fantastic mobbing weapon. The multi-tap does it all. The replay, not a great bossing weapon, honestly a pretty trashy bossing weapon, but for mobbing it's actually maybe even better than the multi-tap. It's ridiculous, it's very situational, but a really good weapon. I'd highly recommend you guys check that out as well if you don't have DLC 6. I'll show you guys some clips on screen. Essentially how it works, and rather than a tracker grenade, it's like tracker darts, which actually not only home, they actually go through walls, which is amazing. So if they're hidden behind things, you can just shoot in their general direction and it's going to seek them out very well. Also an added bonus, which I didn't understand and now realize why I thought the gun was terrible originally, the more enemies you have currently tracked, 
the faster the fire rate and it just goes off, which is ridiculous. Mali won't take down Guardian takedown, it shines. If you can track, say, like five enemies at the same time, it's kind of like having two Revolta shields on at the same time. Plus, you can wear a Revolta shield and it just goes brr. It's a rocket uh, tracker. And as you guys can probably already tell, nobody stands a chance. It's ridiculous. The only problem with it and the main thing that I probably will switch to the multi-tap for most situations rather than the replay, it falls off big time if you don't have multiple things tracked. If you're trying to, one, not even use the tracker, or if you only have one enemy tracked at the current time, the fire rate is terrible and the damage is terrible. Particularly if you're trying to fight a boss, it's just like you're tickling them rather than doing any damage. But... As you can see in the clips, when you have multiple things tracked, it's a ridiculous amount of damage. You can take on the Guardian Takedown boss, you can destroy Wotan really quickly, but if you're just trying to stand there, shoot Grave Ward, it's like you're throwing pebbles at him, and it just, just doesn't do anything. So, very situational, but I wanted to recommend it as well. Give it a try. If you're like me and just kind of shot it at one thing and went, oh, this is trash, and threw it to the side, give it another go. Try mobbing situations. The tracker, you can redo it all the time. You can pretty much just tracker, shoot, tracker, shoot, tracker, shoot, and never run out. It's fun. It's just weird. So give it a go. But yeah, hopefully those clips uh, really showed off these weapons and how they work. These are the best ones I have. The multi-tap after a lot of farms. Uh, just shy of 52,000 damage is the best one I have. 26 mag size and a decent fire rate of 7 bullets per second. The best anointment I would recommend if you guys are going to be using a mega flak like myself is a 3-shot fade build or a rack attack build. So on action skill and weapon damage increase by 100% is the best one because you're going to be looping that all the time. Other options which would be great depending on your build, Urad would be really good, an extra 150% radiation damage if you're under 50% health, that's what that anoint is, uh, would be really good because those little explosions on either the replay or the multi-tap on enemy's death is crazy and you're going to amp that by Urad damage would be sick. Uh, the replay I have, I'm not sure if this is the strongest one, let me know if you guys have better variants of either of these guns, I found quite a bit, but of course Hermi and the Seer doesn't drop it quite as much and that takes a lot longer to farm. Uh, 39k though, the reload time is one second. It's so much nicer using this one because you're reloading really, really quickly. The tracker is pretty much always available. If you miss, you can just pretty much wait half a second and it'll be back. Uh, the fire rate is only four bullets per second there, but it, I don't know how many bullets, but it's really, really quick. Maybe around 20 bullets per second if you have five plus enemies tracked. Uh, and the mag size is only 15, so you dump that really quickly. Again, same annoying I would recommend for this one as well. And just quickly for the gear, I'd recommend primarily for the replay and the multi-tap pistols. The Revolta shield is amazing. The increased fire rate is really, really fun to use, particularly on flak. The Hunter Seekers to stack up the Bounty Hunter class mod and the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge. The other option I was using instead of the Pearl, the Atlas Company Man is actually really good. If you get a really good roll, it can actually be better or if not around about the same amount of damage as the Pearl puts out. If you guys want to use the multi tap and don't have any DLC, the shield options I'd recommend are the Frozen Heart or the Stopgap with Flak, and the Artifact I'd recommend a Snowdrift Auto Idol for more health or a Snowdrift Victory Rush for more damage. And that is everything I have for the new multi tap buff and the new Atlas or Replay pistols. These things are insane. I'd highly recommend you guys check them out. Again, if you guys want to see the build, it's the Omega Flak. I'm going to link it in the end card screen or in the description. Or check out the channel if you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable don't forget to smash subscribe down below it's totally free helps me out a bunch and i very much do appreciate it other than that we have a twitch we stream to every day we also have a discord with awesome people both linked down below as well hope you guys have a fantastic day i'll see you guys next video and a live stream till then adios